Hi, this is Dr. Vince Balanzi, and I'm going to give you a little health tip. We're going to talk about cholesterol. Now, if you've gotten your cholesterol number, it's a pretty commonly known biomarker. If you don't know it, it might be worth checking out. And remember that heart disease is the number one killer. So I want you to know that heart disease is really caused by inflammation, and that's going to be the real answer to correcting the problem. But if you're just depending on a cholesterol number, it's just not enough information. In fact, the, natural, the National Society on Cholesterol Education basically has met several times and probably will be throwing out cholesterol as a measure. LDL may be telling you a little bit more, but remember that it's not the, the LDL that's calculated, but the direct measurement that you want to get. So you know, bring this up with your doctor and ask him uh, her or her if the, if the direct measurement might be a better thing to ask for if, if you're checking that. And then even more accurate than that would be the density or, or the, uh, the, the size and the particle number. So you can look for small dense particles of LDL, which are the ones that are dangerous to you. The LDL that you manufacture is not in that state yet. It's actually big and, and not going to be a problem. But if it gets damaged, if it's glycated or had oxidation, so you might want to have your doctor check the size and, and density of the particles, because if they're small and dense particles of LDL, they're more dangerous. But even better than that, there are some fantastic profiles out there. So I encourage you to talk to your doctor about getting uh, one of the profiles. The ones we use in the clinic are the Boston Heart. We use the Cleveland. These are, these are entire profiles that instead of looking at a cholesterol number, actually give you the big picture. And we're going to talk in, in future uh, videos about the different components in those tests. Because I use them not necessarily to give medication, but also to take a natural approach. Many times, if you have the bigger picture and you understand, say, where the inflammation is coming from or some of these other markers that we'll talk about, you can actually do things nutritionally, correct the problem that way. So it's not about lowering cholesterol. It's about deciding or seeing if your cholesterol is dangerous for you and then seeing the bigger picture and making correction. A drug or medication may be the thing that's necessary. It, maybe things are, are out of range far enough that you've got to get things back under control, and then you could take a natural approach. So we can do all these things with better information. Talk to your doctor about getting an entire subfraction profile and some of these other biomarkers that give us the information we can use so you don't just simply take a medication and that's the end of it, because that could be the end of it. So this is Dr. Vince Balanzi. We'll talk more about biomarkers in the future, but check out cholesterol. If you're going to do the simple panel, at least look at the ratio between your good cholesterol, HDL, and your triglycerides. The triglyceride to HDL ratio ideally is about one to one. The farther apart that that goes, the more risk there is if you're just going to depend on a, a simple lipid panel. This is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Thanks for listening.